Hi guys, I'm Ivana. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Today is going to be a bit of a Dooney and Burke suede haul from I Love Dooney. These are items I picked up from the great sales they've been having this season and I love their suede. I saw these pieces or similar pieces on Tara's video. I will link that below and I just fell in love with them. <laughs> I know it's a likely story it's been happening a lot lately and after the first of the year I'm going on a bit of a no buy let's see how long I last as you can see I couldn't resist I already opened it because it arrived later last night and I didn't have good lighting to film so I wanted to wait until we had daylight I did look at it and I really really think it's a beautiful bag now it's got that problem where the strap is a little bit too long. I'm gonna see if I can get used to these longer straps. Here it is guys, it is the Bryn. I believe it's probably the Bryn shoulder bag in the suede in the color olive. Here is the information. Here it is. This bag for me is more of a, the right size shoulder bag for me. It's not as large as the large sack, which I unboxed. Uh, last time in the monogram collection this buckle is one of my favorite buckles on Dooney and Burke because I am a horse lover and it just looks like like a stirrup and I absolutely love it in this shiny gold and I love the olive color with this beautiful tan trim as you can see, the shoulder strap is that nice wide strap, which is great for comfort, but it tends to sometimes slide off my shoulder. So I'm not sure how this one is going to carry. Oh my gosh. This olive suede is stunning. Wow. It's stunning. So this bag has feet on the bottom. It's got a pretty wide bottom. I will put the measurements somewhere up here on the screen and some different things about this bag it doesn't have any rings to attach this buckle to it just has a, a grommeted is that a grommet a grommeted hole there and it is a little so it's not very loose so it doesn't freely fall it just kind of sits like this i imagine with where this strap will soften so maybe it will hang down easier, but right now it's just kind of stiffer. Oh, another great feature about this bag is it has a back pocket right here. That is so easy to slip the phone in and out, and I absolutely love that feature too. The closure on the bag is just this buckle closure right here. Okay, I took off all the wrapping so that you can see the bag easier in all of its beauty. So there it is. So beautiful for fall and even for Christmas. Put a pom-pom on here and some pop of red and it would be so beautiful. And so here it is. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I will do mod shots at the end of the video, but for now, I'm just gonna Here is the tag. The inside just has standard, well, it doesn't really have standard Dooney setup. It has the modified standard Dooney setup with the zip and a slip pocket in the back and one slip pocket in the front. They didn't divide this pocket like they do on a lot of their larger bags. I don't know why, but I prefer that. And there's no other closure on the back other than this strap and buckle. I'm not worried about there not being much security here because it's a deeper bag and all of my items are going to sit securely down in the bottom of the bag. I worry about it more when it's more of a shallow or a not as tall of a bag because then things can easily fall out. So I will do mod shots at the end of the video, but for now I'm going to show you the other suede pieces that I picked up in this small haul. So to go with this bag, I got the large framed coin purse in the color olive, which I, I saw this on Tara's channel. 
And let me tell you, these colors in the suede collection are so beautiful for fall and just any time of year, really. I mean, that's gorgeous. She showed in her video that some of them had different materials for the card slots. This one has it in the same suede material for the card slots. And it is the standard large frame coin purse with one, two, three slots on each side. So it's great for a wallet or a catch-all. Such a classy little piece. I also got it in the amber. This color was really pretty tan, which would go with a lot of the caramel colored bags. And it goes nicely with this too. It's just fall colors. It looks pretty with any of the caramel colored Dooney bags. Here it is with this one. It kind of goes more with the, the trim color there. I think that looks beautiful. So here they are together. And there's the bag. So this is just my small Dooney and Burke suede haul from I Love Dooney 2022 sale season has been really amazing. So thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate all of you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a great week. Bye guys. And now for the mod shots, and I forgot, it comes with a dust bag. I always forget to mention this, but all of the Dooney bags that are in leather material or suede come with a dust bag. So this bag passes the elbow test, and it's just easy to sling over the shoulder, and you see how easily that falls down? That's the only problem, but I think it is gorgeous. This is the first time I'm trying it on and looking at it in the daylight. Here it is on the crook of the arm. I thought I would also do a comparison between this bag and the large sack in the monogram because they're very similar in size, but for some reason, this one looks so much bigger to me. Here's the bottom. So here's the brim. And here is the large sack. See, the large sack is just a little taller and it hangs down and combined with that long strap it's it feels really low on me I would prefer it to be more up here and this one just doesn't seem like it's as low but there they are love it Honestly, they're both gonna be keepers. Um, I keep going back and forth with that long strap, but they're just so beautiful and the price was so right. So I, they're both gonna be keepers. Who am I kidding? Just looking at them down here and keep me, keep me.